And we're here at the MTV VMAs. We're here with Betty Who. Betty, how exciting is it to be here at the Prudential Center for the VMAs? I'm shook. I'm having the best night already. It's like only just beginning, and it already feels like really exciting and iconic. I feel goosebumps all over. I'm ready. Are you having a good time? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. This we're... is a lot right now for me, but I was just wondering at the VMAs, who, who would make the best hockey player Okay, tonight? okay. I think I have a good answer for this one. Are you ready? Jack Harlow is really tall. Taller than you would think. He's like six. I'm I'm six two. He's like six four. And I feel like hockey players, you're always tall. So I feel like that's a good answer. Powerful thighs, right? I believe it. You can definitely help a long stick. Yes. So, uh, so I know you're from Australia. Yes. But you're also such a huge advocate for the LGBTQ community. Hockey is for everyone. This is like such a big initiative, both for the team and for the league. To have a sports league and a team like the Devils supporting something that's so important to you, how awesome is that? That makes me so happy, and I, it's actually very close to home. So my husband is Canadian, a big hockey player, in fact. And so he and I always talk about how if and when we have children, boy, girl, no matter what their lives, we're like, he's like, they're playing hockey. So I love the idea that hockey is absolutely for everybody and should be a safe space for everyone. It's so important to me and awesome. Love that. Good. And then for us, like with hockey players, there's a lot of superstitions going on before games. Yes, of course. I'm What's just yours? wondering. Do you, have, do you have one? Me? No, I'm a, I'm the opposite. I'm pretty clear you're, cut. You're I don't really matter what I have to eat, what I do before I just okay. go play. But okay. uh, I'm just wondering if you have any. I do have a couple. I um I need. I'm really superstitious actually about stretching. I'm really like I probably overstretch. I spend like two hours getting warm. Ready. I dance a lot on stage, and so it's very like I'm very meditative before. And then an hour before show, everybody has to be in the green room, band, dancers, everybody, so we can like share our energy before we walk out together. That's my like thing that needs to happen. That's more stretching than I do for a hockey game, I think. But <laughs> you warm works. up as it you works. go, though. Yeah. I got to be warm at the very top, or I miss the whole <laughs> the best part. Wait, I want to know how good is your husband? My husband, to be honest with you, is pretty. He's a speed skater. He's small, but he's mighty. Do you know what I mean? He's fast and strong, powerful thighs. But yeah, he's he's little, so he got his ass beat a lot in hockey. <laughs> That's what made him tough. You know what I mean? If this kid could teach you one hockey trick, mm. what are you letting Dawson teach you? Hey Dawson, you want to teach me how to skate? Because I cannot do that. That's Let's a good. That's, that's a good starting point, and then. <laughs> Move on to shooting, but skating, you for sure need to know how to do that. I think I give goalie energy. Do you know what I mean? I'm not a great skater, and so I think I'm just, I'm going to be, I'm big though, so I can really take up a lot of space. That works. Yeah.